Giants and yourself are playing short bench tonight. Yeah, we are. Um, you know, they've uh, got a few injuries, and uh, you know, we uh, obviously uh, with the changes that were made uh, a few weeks ago, and then uh, at the same time we get a couple injuries as well. So, should be interesting tonight. Um, both teams playing short. It's uh, basically going to come down to you know who wants it more and who's got the most energy. It must be a really tough call to make when you come here to play hockey, and all of a sudden, uh, halfway through the season, you find you're the coach as well as the hockey player. Yeah, it's uh, definitely been a, a big change. Um, it's, uh, I mean, obviously, it's uh, you know sad to see a guy like Dan uh, go. Uh, he, he was a, a good friend, and uh, you know I worked with him for a year and a half. I, you know, learned a lot off him, and uh, you know now it's uh, you know just regrouping, uh, trying to get uh, the guys to refocus and you know not worry about the first half of the season, concentrate on the second half and we move forward from there. How do you gain control of the, of, the, of, the, of the bench from that point of view when suddenly you're the new man in and everyone's looking at you to make changes? Well, basically you, just, you gotta go out there and lead by example and uh, go out there and you know work 110% every single shift. And uh, you know, cause if I'm not doing uh, the things that, you know, that, we're, that we're doing, then it's, it's pretty hard that way. So it's a little bit more pressure for me to go out there and perform and uh, you know play a, a consistent 60 minutes and then uh, hopefully the guys feed off that and w we move forward. You got to look at Chris Whitley to, to steal a game for you tonight. Yeah he's been our our consistent most consistent player all season. Uh, there's been a lot of games where they've been one two goal games where they easily could have been more and uh, you know obviously uh, we want to uh, return the favor and, and start going out there and competing more harder for him. It's hard to come here and not play, but you know, I, I just want to keep be a part of the team, be around the guys, and uh, that's why I'm still coming here. Any prognosis on how long you're likely to be, uh, you know, on the sticks here? Uh, well, the doc said until uh, January 3rd, I got to keep those sticks on. Uh, then I go back see him, and if uh, everything is good, then mid-January I should get the surgery. And uh, so it's still, I'm, I mean, I feel a lot better now. Uh, doing exercise and ice and you know all the stuff I got to do so it feels a lot better so hopefully get the surgery as soon as possible when I come back from home now. And after the surgery is there any chance we're going to see you in a giant shirt this year? Not a chance, uh, not, I mean not this year. Uh, after the surgery it's uh, they're saying about seven to eight months. Uh, I did the, my other knee was six months I came back playing so I mean it's it all depends how it goes, you know, all the physio, everything is going. So I, for sure, for sure this year I can come back, but uh, maybe next year, I don't know. We'll see how the knee is and uh, what's, what's going on, but that's a long way to go. So I got to get the surgery done first. Well, we certainly put, be plugging to see you because you were very entertaining to watch and very effective there out on the ice. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. And uh, hopefully we'll be back on that ice uh, sometimes. And we're going to miss your brother watching us on TV. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's <laughs> he's really sad now. He doesn't have anything to do Friday, Saturday night. So uh, he's playing some mixed box. Or he's, I'm pretty sure he figured out something else to do. But uh, yeah, I don't know if he still watched the game. I didn't talk to him for a while, but uh, I'll tell him to keep watching. And uh, he's gonna for sure he's gonna be watching when there's gonna be big games. And he's still like he's he's still like that team, and he like to watch the game. So uh, even if I'm not playing, he's still gonna. He's still going to watch the game. To uh, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a speedy recovery. Merry Christmas to you too and, uh, well, hopefully see you soon. Well, we're definitely short. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more short, but in the time being, for the time being, we have the Rock McBride here. He's a big part of what we do, uh, and ho hopefully we can get the result tonight and move forward uh, as a team, although we are very, very short. What a pleasure it is to see George Awada back here. I'm glad he decided to take his degree back here in, in Belfast. Well, I think both George and Ryan have proved to be uh, tremendous acquisitions. George has been great for us. Uh, tonight he's going to play a bit in the middle, see how he goes. I think with Clark out, with McBride leaving, and uh, and how thin we are down the middle, we got to find out if we have another center. And uh, George is a smart veteran player, good defensively, big body. Uh, he gives us the illusion of having a little bit more size because you have to face him both in the offensive and defensive zone in the corner. Um, so we'll see how he goes, but he's definitely been uh, a pleasant surprise for us. 
I've always had a conversation with George because he chooses the most acute angles to shoot from. He waits till he gets to the red line and then shoots. He says, but they go in. <laughs> well, you know what the, what they say is no, no shot's a bad shot. They, and uh, hopefully George can find a little bit of luck around Christmas and uh, put a couple of those in because the team definitely needs some players to step up and he's no different. It's about time that uh, and John Pelly scored a few goals since he's come back, but he's got to as assume the mantle of the, your chief goal scorer now with McBride uh, on, on his way to Austria. Well, there's no doubt that John's going to have to step up, but he's not the only one. Craig Peacock's got a little bit of weight on his shoulders. Mark Garside's got a little bit of weight on his shoulders. But as a team, what we have to focus on is staying excellent defensively. And if we do that, we're going to be in every game. We just have to make sure that our special teams stay focused, that we continue to get the job done both on the kill and on the power play. And if we do that, we're going to be there or thereabout at the end of every game. And for us, if we can have that odd goal by whoever it is, Gareth Roberts, Graham Walton, John Pelly, I don't care, but we need to make sure that uh, our best players are our best players. We, we don't have any fat. Everybody's uh, got to be going now. We've trimmed it. Let's get the job done. Thank you. I just like the way all the Belfast Giants supporters a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to all you fans out there. Uh, have a happy holiday, and we'll see you in the new year. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy New Year. year.